Welcome to the chapter Length of Things. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Define Length Explain the measuring units of length Discuss the conventional methods of measurement Explain the different ways of measuring length Calculate the length of the smaller objects in hand span, foot span and cubits. Introduction In this chapter, we are going to find the lengths of objects. Let us know how to find the length of an object using the free hand. Let us know what is length. Length is the dimensional distance of an object. Generally, smaller lengths can be measured in cubits. Let us see the scenario between a boy, mother and a shopkeeper. Mom asked the boy to bring 10 cubits of rope. The boy went to the general store and asked the shopkeeper as Hello uncle, can you give me 10 cubits of rope? The shopkeeper counted 10 cubits and gave it to the kid. The kid asked, what is the price of it? The shopkeeper replied, 20 rupees. He gave it and returned home. After going home, his mother asked, Hey, where is the rope? Here it is, mom. She asked, is this rope length 10 cubits? Are you sure? Yes, mom. He measured it in front of me. Wait, let me check it. After checking, she started shouting at him. The boy asked, Mom, why are you shouting at me? Then she replied, You said it was 10 cubits, but it's just 8 cubits. I don't know, Mom. He measured and gave it to me. And I brought it. It's okay. Next time, don't repeat this. Okay, but... I have a doubt. Can I ask? Yes, son. Why did you and the shopkeeper get the difference in length? Hmm. Because we are not measuring it with the same instrument. He had measured it with his hand and I measured it with mine. So, there is a difference in length. If we both measure it with one instrument, then... We will get the same length. Okay, mom. Let us see some conventional methods of measurements. We use the conventional methods such as hand spans and foot spans to measure the length of a small objects. Similarly, we measure the string of flowers with hand, that is, in cubits. Moreover, Strides are used to measure the length and breadth of the ground. In our play of Siragona, Gilli Danda or Billamgodi, we measure the distance with the stick, which is considered the unit of length to measure. Let us see the different ways of measuring length. One way of measuring the length is by using hand span. We are going to measure the length of the table using hand span because smaller lengths can be measured easily by using hand span. The second way of measuring the length is cubit. We are going to measure the length of the stick using cubit because the length of the stick is too small. So it can easily be measured by using cubit. The third way of measuring the length is foot span. This is similar to the hand span. The only difference is we will measure this using our foot as shown on the screen. 
For example, measuring the length of the classroom with foot span. The fourth way of measuring length is scale. We can measure the heights with the help of measuring scale or stick. Let us solve some exercise problems. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Length is the dimensional distance of an object. Smaller lengths can be measured in cubits. We use the conventional methods such as hand spans and foot spans to measure the length of the smaller objects. Follow up work Measure the length of the following using a stick and write them. Car Height of a person Estimate and then measure using hand span dining table length of refrigerator test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test you have successfully completed the chapter length of things